What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, it is time for another book box battle. That is right guys, I am going to be battling Illumicrate, Fairy Loot, Owl Crate, and battling for the first time ever on my channel, we have a new box in the ring and it is the bookish box. So many of you guys have recommended this box to me. I knew I had to give it a try, but for those who don't know, all four of these are monthly book box subscriptions. And this is the video I do every month to battle them out to see which box in my opinion did better this month. But as always, there really are no losers here. This video really is just for fun. Now, all four of these boxes are for February. Again, I did have to wait a little bit longer for Fairy Loot. I think they're still trying to catch back up on shipping. But as a recap, Owlcrate won last month. So that'll be the box we open last. So let's go ahead and jump right in and start with Illumicrates. Sneak peek, don't see much. And right on top, as always, we have the spoiler card. February's theme was the city is ours. And spoilers on the inside, we will save this for last. Ooh, right off the bat. We have an umbrella. Okay, so I normally don't like opening umbrellas indoors. I'm not really that big of a superstitious person, but again, I'm not gonna go be breaking a bunch of mirrors. Don't tempt fate. That's my saying. Not really, I just said it, but we're gonna go ahead and open this to see what design we have. Ooh. Mine's broke. Okay. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Ah, ha, ha. Wow, it's kind of sad how long that just took. Okay, but this is the design on the umbrella. Okay, let me try to show you guys. Sneak down. Okay, so this is what we see. <laughs> this is so sad. So this is what we see. Very pretty. I think it's almost the same. So this is... Lunatheon, the Crescent City. Oh, that was such a good book. Okay, but this is the design all the way around. And right here it says, the power shall always belong to those who give their lives to the city. Very pretty. <laughs> so I love this, love the design and the fact that it's a smaller umbrella, perfect size to just throw in your purse. So yeah, great start to the box, Illumicrates. And next in the box, we have a coaster that says, you don't need anyone's permission to be yourself. Aiden Thomas, I think that's what that says. And it's like a really cool skull design. Love that, love the quote. Now we're not really a coaster family, so I don't know how much use this would actually get. So it might end up in my giveaway box. Maybe not, I actually really do love the quote and design. So I don't know. If you guys have any tips or tricks to get toddlers to use coasters, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely keep it, so. <laughs> and next it looks like we have a card holder, I think, that says money talks bulls bulls tea walk oh bulls gotcha uh <laughs> nk jemison so this is what it looks like on the inside it has different dividers for cards i guess to be honest not an item that i would use and i'm not really a big fan of the design of this so yeah not my favorite item will definitely end up in my giveaway box and next i think this is our monthly enamel pin and it is and it looks like for this month we have a heart enamel pin like a literal heart uh yeah not quite sure what to think about this. Sometimes the enamel pins don't really make a lot of sense until after you read the book of the box. But yeah, not really my favorite enamel pin that we've ever gotten from them. I mean, it's a, it's a heart, literal heart. And next we have a decorative plate inspired by the Gilded Wolves. This was the hint from last month's box. 
Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I have still not read The Gilded Wolves. And this has been such a hyped up book on booktube and I still have not read it. It has been on my TBR forever. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I have to say, I love the design of this. I love the flowers, the colors, very pretty. And it's actually a pretty good size. I feel like you could put a lot of jewelry on this, which is what I think most people will actually use this as instead of like a decorative plate, they use it as like a jewelry dish. But just like last month, I have quite a few jewelry dishes by now. Um, it's a very popular item for book box subscriptions, I think. So again, I'm not quite sure if I'll keep this or put it in my giveaway box. And next, it looks like we have an art print that says Edinburgh, the home of the last falconer. Again, this is based off a book that I have not read, but I love the design of the art print and the gold foiling. You guys know I'm a sucker for gold foiling, so I love that. But sadly, again, I really only display Harry Potter art prints or maybe Lord of the Rings. So sadly, this will also be going in my giveaway box, which makes me wonder, what do you guys do with all of the art prints? Because we get a lot of art prints from subscription boxes, whether it be Harry Potter or book box subscriptions. Art prints are a very big thing. And again, I normally love them. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful, but what do you do with them? Because honestly, if they're not Harry Potter, I have no idea what to do with them. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what y'all do with all of the art prints we get. I'm curious. <laughs> and we are finally to the book, which of course is always the best part of the box, especially because we have sprayed edges and their pink sprayed edges. Like I love sprayed edges so much. I've started turning around my books just to show off the sprayed edges. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what books those are anymore. I, I've, I've done forgot, but I love the sprayed edges. But the book this month, which looks amazing, is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. <gasps> Did I actually get an author's name right? Nothing is more dangerous than a fairy tale. Choose your player. Oh, but as always, it did come with a letter from the author and it also came with a little art print with I'm assuming characters from the book and the title of the book on the back, a perfect bookmark to use for the book. But as always, it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without a very pretty purple with pink on the spine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. The cruel prince meets City of Bones in this thrilling urban fantasy set in the magical underworld of Toronto as a queer cast of characters race to stop a serial killer whose crimes could expose the hidden world of fairies to humans. For centuries, the eight courts of folk have lived among us, concealed by magic and bound by law to do no harm to humans. This arrangement has long kept peace in the courts until a series of gruesome and ritualistic murders rocks the city of Toronto and threatens to expose fairies to the human world. Four queer teens who each hold a key piece of the truth behind these murders must form a tenuous alliance in their effort to track down the mysterious killer behind these crimes. If they fail, they risk the destruction of the fairy and human worlds alike. If that's not bad enough, there's a war brewing between the mortal and immortal realms, and one of these teens is destined to tip the scales. The only question is, which way? Okay, so... This sounds like a book that has everything. Mystery, thrill, magic, fae. I mean, I honestly just wanna read it because the cover looks so cool. Yes, 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 yes. This sounds amazing. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at our spoiler card. So we had the Lunathian umbrella inspired by Crescent City, the Gilded Wolf's decorative plate, Money Talks card holder, inspired by the city we became, the home of the last Falconer print, um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. the Be Yourself wooden coaster, inspired by Cemetery Boys, the featured book, the monthly collector's pen, inspired by the Philosopher's Stones in the book, okay? And that was it. 
March theme is Fighting Spirits. Our chosen book this month follows a soldier and a princess, both with divided loyalties. Our Lumicrate edition comes with exclusive sprayed edges. <laughs> yes, an exclusive hidden cover and is signed by the author. Our featured fandoms for March are The Court of Miracles, Kingdom of the Wicked, Winter Night, The Bone Witch, and a officially licensed the dark artifacts item. This is also at Rosie Thorns 88 mug month. So we get another mug. Our items this month are all beautiful and usable. Sneak peek, we will be including a winter night inspired item designed by Kelly Chong. Chong. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. So definitely for me, the book this month was my favorite item, but I also really liked the umbrella we got. But sadly, most of the other items from this box will end up in my giveaway box. So not my favorite box that we've ever gotten from a Lumicrate, but let's see how it holds up against Fairy Loot. And sneak peek. And as always, right on top, we have an art print with the spoilers on the back. The theme for February was what the future holds. Right on top, we have a pillowcase. This is the front. It says, Per Aspera Ad Astra, Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Maybe, maybe I said that right. Probably not. But this is the other side. We got some characters on here. And this says, Through Hardship to the Stars. Sadly, again, this is another book that has been on my TBR forever. But I don't even care that I haven't read this book. The design and artwork of this pillowcase is amazing. So this will definitely have to find some place in my house to live. I love this. And next, we have a candle from Flick the Wick. Eco, maybe? Broken isn't the same as unfixable. Cranberry peach, citrus, vanilla, fairy loot exclusive. And it's just a blue candle. Ooh, that actually smells amazing. I was a little worried when I read vanilla. You guys know vanilla is not my favorite scent. But I'm mostly picking up citrus and I love that. Now candles are another item that we tend to get a lot of in these book box subscriptions and that used to bother me actually, but since I've gotten my owl carousel, candles don't really bother me as much as they used to. Not saying I don't have an entire trunk of candles because I do. We still get a lot of candles, but to be fair, I get a lot of subscription boxes, so mine tend to add up quite a bit faster than most everybody else's. So yeah, candles will never be like my favorite item in subscription boxes, but I actually really like this one. That was like a long way around of me saying I like this. Why, I don't know, but there you go. And next we have a little package with the Fairy Loot logo. I think it's an enamel pin, and it is Vicious enamel pen. Plenty of humans were monsters and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. Designed by Jez Hawk. Now I love this enamel pen. This is another book that has been on my TBR for ever. And this was written by V.E. Schwab, which has become one of my favorite authors. And I have said several times that I want to read anything and everything she writes. I will say I have read the description of Vicious several times and to be honest, it doesn't seem like a book that I want to read, but I know I want to read it just because she wrote it. I don't know. You guys let me know if you've read Vicious and if it's a must read, let me know in the comments, but I love that quote. And next it looks like we have our monthly tarot cards, the five of wands and the six of wands. As always, these are absolutely gorgeous and I have no idea what these are based off of. Hold on. Oh, these are inspired by Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I have actually read that book. I know, shocker, I haven't read anything apparently, but that was actually a really good book. Again, I'm curious, what do you guys do with your tarot cards? Because I've just ended up putting all of mine in one of my secret book boxes that we've gotten from Fairy Loot. I mean, I don't know what to do with them other than just collect them, which 
I'm doing, so. <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you do with your tarot cards. And next, I think we have another utensil set from Fairy Loot. We have a very cool art print on the front. Again, I have no idea who this is, but I will say I am loving her tattoos. Yes, sleeve. And we have like a silver pouch on the inside. And we have gold utensils, y'all, with different quotes on each one. This one says, everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. Then we have, think badass thoughts, love that. And the spoon reads, every locked door has a key. Okay, I love that. What fandom is this from? Hold the phone. Each utensil features a quote from War Cross by Marie Lu, and the box has a stunning design of the main heroine, Amika, illustrated by the talented Warwick Cart. Warwick Cart? Work art. Mm. Again, another fandom I have not read. I am such a fraud right now. Am I a bookworm? Am I? So yeah, I love these. Love the color, love the quotes. A perfect item for traveling if, if you're gonna do that. I will probably just end up taking these to work. And next, it looks like we have a box with a moon on there that says the night walked down the sky with the moon in her hand. Frederick L. Knowles, Little Moon Fairy Lights. <gasps> yes, I love fairy lights. And each light has a crescent moon on there. That is going to be so pretty. I legit cannot wait till I finish my room. I know I've been talking about it for like ever. It's never gonna get done, ever. But these will definitely be hung up somewhere in my room, on my bookshelf. Oh, that's exciting. And we are finally to the book, which as always comes with a bookmark and a letter from the author with a art print on the back, very pretty. And the book this month is This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. And as always from Fairy Loot, we have some sprayed edges, kind of a pinkish red color, matches the cover very well. But on the back it says, change your fate, pay the price. And as always, it is signed by the author, even though this month kind of looks like a little scribble instead of a signature. Let's see what it looks like without. Oh, we have some foiling. So I'm assuming this is a character in the book with some pink foiling and pink on the spine. But in true fairy loot fashion, we also have a reversible dust jacket. And as always, just gorgeous. This is so detailed and I'm just loving the colors. Wow. As always, Fairy Loot does not disappoint with their book cover, but I'm going to go ahead and read the description real fast. Orphaned and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes, Carice wants nothing more than to find her brother long ago shipped away, but family bonds don't matter to the scriptorium whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automated army. In her search for her brother, Carice does the seemingly impossible. She awakens a hidden automon, intelligent with a conscience of his own. Alix has no idea why he was made or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the Automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Carice, it's hunting her. Together with the leaks, Carice must find her brother and the secret that's held her country and its power for centuries. Okay, again, another book that has a little bit of everything. We even have some sci-fi in here, it sounds like. So yeah, cannot wait to read this. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at our fairy scoop. As always, it just has a little interview with the author. Next month's theme, or March's theme, is Frozen Fables. In this box, we can expect items inspired by the Bear and the Nightingale, Winter Song, Spinning Silver, Wicked Saints, Winter Wood, and even the Darkest Stars. We are thrilled to reveal that one of the items in this box is a ceramic mug featuring artwork by the brilliant Mono Limart. Limart? I give up. The featured book of the month is a thrilling story inspired by Russian folklore. This epic tale is set in a wintry backdrop and is filled with fables, romance, tragedy, magic, and monsters. <laughs> this edition will have an exclusive cover, shimmery sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, 
foiled embossing on the case and will have custom end papers signed by the author. So pretty much anything and everything you can do to have an exclusive edition of a book. <gasps> that sounds amazing. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Again, the book sounds absolutely amazing, but item wise, Mm. I actually liked every single item in this box, but if I had to pick a favorite, I think it has to be the pillowcase. That is just absolutely gorgeous. But I also really loved the cutlery set, the enamel pin, the fairy lights. I mean, everything. This was such an amazing box from Fairy Loot, which of course leads me right into which box I think won the first battle. Was it a Lumicrate? or was it fairy loot? And the winner is, drum roll please, fairy loot. So yes, if it wasn't obvious, fairy loot is the winner of the first battle. Even though I am very excited about the book we got from Illumicrate, I have to say fairy loot absolutely killed it this month. So yeah, fairy loot is the winner of the first battle, which means it gets to battle our new subscription box the bookish box. But let's take a quick look at the box since it's the first time it's been on my channel. So on the front, we see the bookish box with a typewriter. Here it says by appraising pages. And then on the top, it says open immediately for all the bookish goodies. But both sides and the back of the box have the same design. And do y'all see the Deathly Hollow symbol? Just saying. That's amazing. <laughs> and right here it says, we wear our loves for books on our sleeve. And this box is very different from the other ones because it opens from the top. So sneak peek, we can already see the book, but we'll save that for last. So first off, it looks like we have some socks. And as you guys know, I am a fan of getting socks. And these are inspired by Throne of Glass, which as most of you know, is one of my favorite series. So this is what they look like. It looks like we have a dragon on there, a sword, and the stag on there, maybe a shield. I honestly can't tell what that one is. Not my favorite design, to be honest. I wish the pictures were a little more clear, but again, they're socks, a nice usable item. So yeah, I'm sure I'll wear them quite a bit. Next, it looks like we have a bookmark with the same design on both sides. As usual, I have no idea what this is based off of. Hold on. Oh, this is Lou from Serpent and Dove. She has the strings of her power and you can even see her scar on her neck. Oh, I totally see that now. Wow. So yeah, very cool bookmark. I really loved Serpent and Dove. The second book, not as much to be honest. But yeah, you guys know I love bookmarks. I collect bookmarks. So yeah, I'm a fan. And next we have a candle and it looks like it's the same artwork from our bookmark. It says Lou, blood orange and cinnamon chai, hand poured by the bookish shop. So just a white candle with a wood burning wick. Ooh, definitely smell the cinnamon. I wish there was a little bit more orange Ooh, but I like it. I like it. And next, it looks like we have a gold necklace inspired by Beauty and the Beast. And the necklace says, Beauty is found within. To be honest, this is not my favorite item. Gold necklaces in general aren't my favorite items. I just prefer silver jewelry, but I'm not in love with the design of this. It honestly kind of looks very cheaply made. Again, I don't know, I don't make jewelry. It just looks a little cheap to me. Um, so yeah, definitely not my favorite item, not my favorite design. I love the quote though, beauty is definitely found within. But yeah, this will definitely end up in my giveaway box. So yeah. And next, it looks like we have a monthly pin. So I'm assuming the bookish box also does a monthly enamel pin, which I love. And this was obviously inspired by Skythe. Please tell me I said that right, Skythe. But I love this, love the design, love the coloring, how it has the gold and black. Yes, 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 I am a fan. And next we have a box that says the bookish box, a very Poe candle carousel. 
Oh, another candle carousel. Oh, yes, 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 yes. At least this time I know how to put it together. <laughs> And this is what it looks like. We have little ravens on here. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all, I think I said earlier in the video, I love my candle carousel, which I have never heard of before I got that one. So the fact that I have two now, yes, just amazing. I love this. And next we have an art print. I do believe inspired by the book from the box. And we just have a little note on the back, which talks a little bit about the book included. Not from the author though. So this isn't a letter from the author. I think it's just from like the bookish box. But we are finally to the book. Let me take it out. But the book this month is The Initial Insult by Mindy McGinnis. McGinnis, maybe. So I don't know what this cover is made of, but this feels weird. I've never really noticed the texture of a book cover. Like they all always feel like this. This is like rough. Anyway, okay. Um, it should be signed by the author. Let's see. And it is signed by the author and it has an art print in here. Let's see what it looks like without. It's red with blue on the spine. Ooh, I like that. And it has a reversible dust jacket. And this is like soft. Okay, why? I don't understand why that's bothering me so much, but I hate how this feels. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and reverse this and this be the dust jacket on the outside. But it says fear is a powerful motivator. And then the title, I'm gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. Welcome to Amontillado, Ohio, where your last name is worth more than money and secrets can be kept for a price. Tress Monter knows that her family used to mean something until she didn't have a family anymore. When her parents disappeared seven years ago while driving her best friend home, Tress lost everything. The entire town shuns her now that she lives with her drunken one-eyed grandfather at what locals refer to as the White Trash Zoo. Felicity Tornado has it all, looks, money, and the secret. She knows that one misstep could send her tumbling from the top of the social ladder, and she's worked hard to make everyone forget that she was with the monsters the night they disappeared. Felicity has buried what she knows so deeply that even she can't remember what it is, only that she can't look at Tress without feeling shame and guilt, but she'll have to. Tress has a plan, a Halloween costume party at an abandoned house provides the ideal situation for Tress to pry the truth from Felicity, brick by brick, as she slowly seals her former best friend into a coal chute Tress will have her answers or settle for revenge. In the first book of this duology, award-winning author Mindy McGinnis draws inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe and masterfully delivers a dark, populous mystery and, al and alternating points of view that unravels a friendship forevermore. <laughs> to be honest, does not sound like a book that I would really enjoy reading. And the fact that this is kind of inspired by Edgar Allan Poe doesn't really do much for me. Uh, so yeah, I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it has a little mystery, but the whole trapping her friend in a coal mine shoot, huh? Like that seems a bit extreme. So I, I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So the theme was murky water. We had the necklace inspired by Beauty and the Beast, the socks, the art print, the enamel pin, the candle carousel, the candle and the bookmark, and then the exclusive book. Oh, and there was also a shirt. The really great thing about this box is they have different subscription options. I think they had like a book only, a book and goodies only, a book, shirt, and goodies only. Sadly, the book, shirt, and goodies was sold out. So I was only able to get the book and goodies, which makes me really sad because when I subscribed to the bookish box, I went to their website 
and they have tons of items in their shop, including tons of shirts and pants. I'm actually wearing one of their shirts right now. It's a Bobaton shirt. And I have to say, I am a fan of their shirts. So I definitely would like to upgrade to get the option that includes the shirt. But yeah, that was everything in the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down for me, the candle carousel is my favorite item. Least favorite would definitely have to be the necklace. Again, I just don't love this design. But overall, I kind of found this box a little lackluster or maybe I just built it up in my mind because so many of you guys recommended this box to me and so I was like oh this is gonna be amazing and I really liked a lot of the items from their website and again it changes month to month so this could just be like not my favorite month from them but I was just not really blown away. I mean, thank God for the candle carousel. I think that item saved this box for me. Uh, so yeah, plus I wasn't the biggest fan of the book. Um, again, that's probably just personal preference, but I do love the reversible dust jacket. Again, I love that these boxes try to make these books as exclusive as possible. So yeah, I don't know. You guys definitely let me know what y'all thought of this box. Did you like it? Is this the box you would like to see continue on in the battles? Just let me know in the comments down below. But which box won the second battle? Was it Fairy Loot or was it the Bookish Box? Drum roll, please. Fairy Loot. That is right, guys. Fairy Loot won the second battle as well. Sadly, the Bookish Box did not win its first ever battle on my channel, but that means Fairy Loot will go on to battle Owl Crate. Sneak peek. And as always, we have the spoiler card on top with an art print on the back. The theme for February was Magic Unleashed. And right on top, it looks like we have some bath salts. This is from the Soap Librarian, the Lost Jaw Rat, Jaw, Jaw Rat, Alcrate Exclusive 2 ounce Bath Salt. And it does have ingredients on there, which I always appreciate. But let's give these a smell. Uh, okay, the second whiff wasn't as bad. Ugh, still not great though. I mean, not bad, but not good. I don't know how to describe this. I really don't. What smell, what is this? Sea salt, chamomile, lemongrass, orange peel, lavender, rose, hibiscus. No wonder it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, there's good and bad in there. Good and bad. But I do love bath salts, so there's that. <laughs> Next, we have a brush in a very pretty pouch. Normally, I throw these pouches away, but I love this pouch. I will definitely keep this and use it for something. What? I do not know. But yeah, we have a brush with a really pretty design on the back. So yeah, I love this. Again, a nice usable item and a really cute pouch. And next we have our monthly enamel pin. For those who don't know, the enamel pin is based off the book we get in the box. And this month's design kind of looks like a sun with a crescent moon in the middle. And I love these pops of color in there. Very pretty. And next it looks like we have a keychain and it says Poison Kitchen Souvenir Keychain inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, an Owl Crate exclusive. Ah, oh, again, that is another book that has been on my TBR forever. And I'm pretty sure I even have the book somewhere in here. But yeah, very cool keychain and definitely feels like it was very well made. Sadly, I really only like Harry Potter keychains on my key ring, but I actually really like the design of this. So maybe I'll put it somewhere else or it might end up in my giveaway box. I don't know, but I really do like this. Very cool design. Next, it looks like we have a zipper pouch that says light, Take, oh, fight, that, fight. That says fight, take risks, follow your heart. And we even have a little charm of the owl. Somebody told me years ago the name of the owl and I done forgot again. 
I want to say Errol, but I know that's wrong. I, I can't remember the name. But yeah, you can never have too many zipper pouches. Okay, I did like the zipper pouch. I don't anymore. It won't zip. Legit, it won't move. I feel like I'm going to break it. it. It's stuck. Like, it won't move. So, there's that. Love the design. Hate the zipper. And next, we have a red box that says Alcrate Collectible Book Tin, which was the hint we got from last month's box. And this is from the Library of Red London, which, of course, is inspired by A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, which is a book I have read, finally. Oh, my gosh. I love this. It says Magic and Madness, The Marish Monarchy. And on the back, it says Ash Travars, which if you read the book, you know. I'm loving how reflective this is. And this is what we see when we open it up. It's actually pretty thick, so it'll hold quite a bit in there. And it said, Blood was magic made manifest. There it thrived. And on the side, it kind of looks like the city of London, like the streets. I absolutely love this. Love the design. And again, I just love book tins. And we are finally to the book, which as always came with a letter from the author. And the book this month is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. So I've already gotten this book in a different book box subscription. I honestly don't remember which one. It is paperback, but it has sprayed edges, which I love. This is the book with the exclusive cover. On the back, it says, are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? Very pretty cover as always. And it is signed by the author. But again, this one kind of just looks like a scribble on a page not a signature at all. <laughs> I kind of hate that, but let's see what it looks like without. Ooh. Okay, so this is what it looks like without, kind of a green foiling. Okay, so my phone ended up dying. I was trying really hard to finish last night. As you can tell, it is a lot later. I ended up just going to sleep. I actually thought the video I was just filming, which was like an hour and 20 minutes of footage, I thought it didn't save, so I thought I was going to have to redo the Bookish Box and Owlcrate. And thank God it saved because I hate, 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 hate redoing boxes. Epic fail on my part. So it is later on the next day. As you can tell, the lighting is different. I'm filming during the day. I decided to go ahead and put some makeup on because I have a lot to do today. I actually have a Zoom meeting with Leanda. We're working on our secret project, which I'm so, 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 so excited about. Um, so I'll be doing that very shortly. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. I think the video cut off before I could actually finish reading the description. So I'm just going to go ahead and reread the description real fast. 16-year-old Decca lives in fear and anticipation of the blood ceremony that will determine whether she becomes a member of her village, already different from everyone else because of her unnatural intuition. Decca prays for red blood so she can finally feel like she belongs. But on the day of the ceremony, her blood runs gold, the color of impurity, and Decca knows she will face a consequence worse than death. Then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice, stay in the village and submit to her fate or leave to fight with the emperor and an army of girls just like her. They are called Alakai, near immortals with rare gifts, and they are the only ones who can stop the empire's greatest threat. Knowing the dangers that lie ahead yet yearning for acceptance, Decca decides to leave the only life she's ever known. But as she journeys to the capital to train for the biggest battle of her life, she discovers that the Great Walled City holds many surprises. Nothing and no one are quite what they seem to be, not even Decca herself. In this bold and immersive fantasy, a young heroine fights to save a world that would dare to tame her and discovers that she is her own fiercest weapon. That sounds like such an amazing book. I have been wanting to read it for quite a while. Again, it's another one that's been sitting here that I just have not gotten to. But honestly, I kind of think I like my paperback edition a little bit more than the hardback. Not saying that this isn't a gorgeous cover, 
But again, you guys know I'm a sucker for sprayed edges and just the foiling on my paperback edition. So this might end up in my giveaway box or going to one of my Patreons. But yeah, that was everything from Alcrate. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. As always, it has an interview with the author and we see the regular cover versus the Alcrate cover. So it just looks like Alcrate added like the design in the background. Very pretty. Then a bookish crossword puzzle, some more book recommendations, an interview with the vendor, which was Forensics and Flowers who made our book 10. Then the photo challenge, our Spotify playlist, and the theme for March is of witches and wonder, flip for sneak peek. Every March box will include an item designed by Talia Skiles. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Favorite item, hands down, has to be the book 10. I, again, just love the design of this. Least favorite item might be the bath salts or even the zipper pouch just because it doesn't work. It's stuck and I can't get it to move. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Overall, I thought this was a pretty good box from Alcrate. Again, I loved some of the items, but now it is the moment you have all been waiting for. Which book box subscription won for February, 2021? Was it Fairy Loot or was it Alcrate? The winner for this book box challenge is, drum roll please, Fairy Loot. That is right guys, Fairy Loot is the winner for February 2021. I loved their box as always. A lot of you guys always ask me which one of these do I like recommend number one and again it kind of depends on where you live and shipping cost but I will generally always say Fairy Loot is my absolute favorite just because we always get the biggest bang for our buck. And again, I love how exclusive their book is. So yeah, Fairy Loot, again, just killed it this month. I mean, we got a pillowcase, some fairy lights, gold utensils for when we wanna feel bougie. Just amazing, absolutely loved everything in this box. But as always, you guys will have to let me know, do you agree with my decision? Do you think Fairy Loot won? Or do you think one of these other boxes should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> You're gonna see me on the news as the crazy lady who attacks a train. <sighs> Goose for Abba. I kinda like not wearing makeup for these videos. You can actually see my freckles. Of course I have mascara on, so I don't look like a zombie, but. <laughs> okay, what the mess? Ugh, okay, let me close this. Ooh, what is this called? Cup. How am I blanking on this? Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and next it looks like we have I don't know what my pinky's doing what are you doing and next it looks like just just sit right there god has that been there this entire video pen what is up with my pinky today dude get your life under control like that's like my coffee talking. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. This pinky's going whatever way it wants. I, I don't know what to do with my, now I'm focused on the pinky and it's, <laughs> oh my God. What was I saying? I want to travel. Okay, so I've been filming for over an hour and a half for two boxes. What is taking me so long? But since it's the, but since it's the, Oh my god first time oh my god look at her butt 
And read the description real fast, which is on the other side. Wow, Tabitha. I should have, oh my God, I have 10% on my phone, 10%. And I don't think I've ever gotten a book, a book, I've gotten a book. I don't think I've ever gotten a brush and a book box subscription. So yeah, right now I hate brushing my hair because every time I do, like a thousand hairs fall out.